arithmeticians today we see a nice problem master in nbhm 2020 it is a real analysis problem about a series of numbers which of the following series is convergent that is a problem we will see uh, one one up we will see each option one after the other so in most of this problem we are going to use integral test okay so integral test, so this is the statement Consider an integer n and a function f defined in an unbounded interval closed n comma infinity and the function f should be monotonic decreasing. Then the infinite series summation n equal to capital N to infinity f of n converges if and only if the integral is finite. Okay. Basically series is convergent if and only if the corresponding uh, <coughs> integration is uh, finite and uh, we have to take the limit appropriately so given this to check whether this integration is uh, finite we have to check whether this integration value is finite okay to check whether this series is finite we have to check whether this integration value is finite so let's see um, okay so we want to integrate this integration like a base we can use integration by parts so you substitute u equal to log x and you take v equal to log you, you take u to be also log x and v to be also log x then this interval integration is reduced reduced to integral 2 to infinity du by u okay therefore integration 1 by u is log u so you have to substitute the limit 2 to infinity uh, yeah. so if you substitute the limit 2 you will get uh, uh, log 2 if you substitute the inf limit infinity you get log of infinity which is infinity okay so basically it is infinity therefore this integration is not finite therefore this series is not convergent okay okay so like uh, this is very simple test most of the time integral test will work only condition is that this function if you look at the associated function in case of here we have x log x this function should be decreasing okay so let's look at the second problem uh, maybe we come back to the second problem later but uh, the idea will be we we do the third because like this is n log n this is n log square n very much similar so we do the third one so similarly we look at uh, integral dx by x log, log square x this time because we have n log square x so again if you do the uh, same integration by parts you will see that uh, the integration value is uh, 1 by log 2 okay which is a finite quantity okay now you take uh, again u to be log x uh, and and like uh, like like similar here you do the uh, you can solve the integration by by parts the answer is 1 by log 2 okay so therefore this is finite therefore the series given in the third option is convergent okay so let's do uh, option b option b also we're going to do along the same line using integral test okay so then this is the series given in option b so we look at the corresponding integration integral log square x by x square dx the limit should be 2 to infinity but first we calculate this improper integral then we substitute the limit 2 to infinity okay so first you take u to be log x log square x and v equal to minus x then you will get integral u dv equal to u v minus integral v dx so this integration equal to this term plus this term okay now we have to evaluate this integral again you take u to be log x v equal to minus 1 by x square then you will you will see that this integration value is equal to this value plus this value okay so please pause the video and you check how i got this term the again this this integration is easy to evaluate basically this value is equal to minus 2 by x okay so this integration value equal to this value plus this value plus this value so we get integral log square x by x square dx equal to minus log square x by x this term minus 2 log x by x this term then finally minus 2 by x this term plus an integration constant that is c so now we want to uh, calculate limit 2 to uh, so uh, summation n equal to 2 to infinity so we want to consider we want to calculate uh, limit 2 
two in integration two to infinity this integration so what i do i put two to l then i let limit l turn to infinity basically they are same so if you substitute limit two to l in this uh, uh, we want to calculate integral two to l log square x by x square dx but we have already calculated the uh, improper integral log square x by x square dx so here we substitute the limit value 2 to l okay so we get uh, minus we get minus log square l minus 2 log l minus 2 by yeah, for x you are substituting l then minus for that minus all this minus will cancel so we get plus so then the lower and uh, lower limit will be log square 2 plus 2 log 2 plus 2 by 2 okay now when you you want to uh, apply limit L turn to infinity. You note that in the numerator you have only log, but in the denominator you have in the numerator you have log L, but in the denominator you have L. So this limit is going to be zero. Okay. So you take any powers of log in the numerator. Uh, if it, uh, and in the denominator if you have L, so this limit will be zero because log is going uh, to infinity uh, much slower than uh, L. Okay, that is one idea. Uh, like you so see, this is the thing. Uh, limit extends to uh, zero. Uh, what is the uh, sorry, limit extends to infinity? Log power c x by x. This is zero for any c greater than zero. Okay, so uh, you can. So you try to prove this result using a. Uh, like maybe you can use a hospital rule also and see why it is true. Uh, so by that result, like you can see that this is goes to zero. So you end up with only this quantity and this quantity is finite. But this term is independent of here. Okay. Therefore, this integration is uh, limit to uh, integration two to infinity. This integration value is finite. Therefore, this series is convergent. Okay. Now we come to the uh, this is convergent. We come to the last option. Last option is very simple. This is a very many times it is asked in the previous year CSR exam also. So what you do? Whenever you get this kind of term, you always uh, multiply with a kind of conjugate. So if you have minus, you multiply with plus. Then you will get uh, this term is equal to. Uh, so this is like a minus b into a plus b. So you get a square minus b square. So therefore this term this term is equal to this term you get as two in front so you want to know whether this series is convergent or not uh, so we use comparison test okay so now n is less than n plus one for sure root n is strictly less than root l plus one because root x is increasing function uh, then root n i am adding one more term so that it is not going to affect the inequality in both aside i am multiplying n that is also fine so now I take the reciprocal. So I get 1 by n times root n plus 1 root n minus 1 less than 1 by n power 3 by 2. This is summation 1 by n power 3 by 2 is convergent by the uh, like we know summation 1 by p is convergent if p is strictly greater than 1. Therefore, this series, this series is convergent. Okay. Therefore, option D also convergent. Okay. Okay, guys. So I hope you learn how to use integral test. Uh, if you learned something new in this video, please click the like button and share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.